shell and coil type evaporator. These are of smaller capacity than the shell and tube chillers. These are made from one or more spiral shaped bare tube coils enclosed during a welded steel shell. It is usually a dry expansion type with a refrigerant flowing within the tube and chilled liquid within the shell. In some cases, the chiller operates in flooded mode also with refrigerant within the shell and chilled water flowing through the spiral tube. The water within the shell gives an outsized amount of thermal storage capacity called holdup capacity. It is used for cooling beverages in chrome steel tanks to maintain sanitary conditions. It is also utilized in bakeries and photographic laboratories. Double pipe type evaporator. This consists of two concentric tubes, the refrigerant flows through the annular passage while the liquid being chilled flows through the tube and counterflow. The inner tubes undergo the headers and are connected together by 180 degree bends. The refrigerant side is welded hence there is minimum possibility of leakage of refrigerant. These could also be utilized in flooded also as dry mode. This needs more room than other designs. Shorter tubes and counterflow give a good heat transfer coefficient. Bovalo type evaporators. This type of evaporator consists of an outsized number of horizontal pipes stacked one on top of the other and connected together by headers to form single or multiple circuits. The refrigerant is circulated inside the tubes either in flooded or dry mode. The liquid to be chilled flows through a thin layer over the outer surface of the tubes. The liquid flows down by gravity from the distributor pipe located on top of the horizontal tubes. The liquid to be chilled is a hospitable atmosphere that is, it is at air pressure and its aeration may happen during cooling. This is often widely used for cooling milk, wine, and chilling water for carbonation in bottling plants. Direct Expansion Fin and Tube Type Evaporator These evaporators are used for cooling and dehumidifying the air directly by the refrigerant flowing within the tubes. Almost like fin and tube type condensers, these evaporator consists of coils placed during a number of rows with fins mounted thereon to extend the warmth transfer area. Tubes with individual spiral straight fins or crimpled fins are welded and are utilized in some applications like ammonia. Plate surface evaporators. These are also called bonded plates or roll bond type evaporators. Two flat sheets of metal, usually aluminum, are embossed in such a fashion that when these are welded together, the embossed portion of the two plates makes a passage for refrigerant to flow. This sort is used in household refrigerators. Plate, plate type evaporators. These evaporators are widely used in dairy plants for chilling milk, in breweries for a chilling beer. These evaporators consist of a series of plates, normally made from stainless steel, between which alternately the milk or beer to be cooled in refrigerant flow and counterflow direction. The general heat transfer coefficient of those plate type evaporators is extremely high, as high as 4,500 watt per meter, K just in case of ammonia or water, and 3,000 watt per meter square, K just in case of R22 per water. Additionally, they also require very less refrigerant inventory for an equivalent capacity, about 10% or maybe but that of shell and tube type evaporators. Another important advantage when utilized in dairy plants and breweries is that, it is very easy to wash the evaporator and assemble it back as and when required. This is it for today's video. Let us know in the comment section, which topic you want to see next. Before leaving, check the exclusive offers, link in the description below. And do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. To find out more on the subject, continue watching the next video.